Hi everyone, today we're going to be explaining the relationship between dominant and recessive genes and phenotype using examples. This is part of 2.6 of the Blueprint of Life syllabus and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going through various examples to differentiate between dominant and recessive genes and phenotypes. Just to recap your memory, uh, the genotype is defined as the letters, so it's the alleles on the gene. And the phenotype is defined as the physical expressed characteristics, so what can be seen is what the phenotype means. What we're going to be doing now is we're just going to be going through some examples, and those two simple um, definitions, obviously, once again, the physical appearance of the organism, phenotype, and you've got genotype, the actual alleles that are present on the chromosomes of the organism. All right. Now, for our first example, uh, we have seed shape. Uh, just bear with my really bad drawings, but anyways, in our seed shapes, we've got either a wrinkled seed or a smooth seed. And now these are the numbers associated. So in this in this experiment that someone has conducted, they've found that there's 1,850 wrinkle seeds, and there's 5,474 smooth seeds. So in this case, what do you think the dominant trait is? Is it wrinkled or smooth? Well, if smooth is occurring more, then that has to be the dominant trait. So I'm just going to write here, smooth. Okay, and obviously, if that's going to be the dominant trait, this is going to be the recessive, so you've got wrinkled here. What this is uh, proving to be is like, for an example, suppose uh, you had mother and father. Mother had blonde hair, the father had black hair. And every single child that they had, had black hair. In that case, that would show you an example of a dominant trait, which is the black hair. Same case here, where the probability of getting a smooth shaped seed in a pea plant is much higher than getting a wrinkled seed, mainly because it is the dominant trait. Dominant as in it takes over, it's the most likely. Okay, so now we can figure out the ratio. Since we have the numbers, the ratio should just be the, f the dominant divided by the recessive trait, which I've expressed over here, 5,474 divided by 1,850, which ends up to equal something around uh, 2.96 to 1. Perfect. Let's move on. By the way, all these examples are expressed from the pea plant, so all these examples that I'll be talking about are from the pea plant, and you can even it can even relate to Mendel's pea plant experiments, which I got this got these examples off. So you got seed color. As you can see, there's green and there's yellow, as I've shaded in. And in the green seed colors, you had 2001, which are green, and the yellow, you had 6002. So which one's dominant and which one's recessive? Now, that's something that you need to figure out, and as I said before, the one with higher chances, the higher number, yellow, is obviously the d uh, dominant. And the one with the lower number, and which has, you know, um, less amount, less, r less of a possibility, is green, and hence that should be our recessive trait. So then, what's our ratio? So if you can remember what I said before, I said that it was 6,000 and 2, our dominant trait, divided by our recessive trait, which is 2001. And that will end up giving us in the calculator something like 3.009 to 1. Perfect. Let's move on. So lastly, we've got pod color. Um, Mind my really bad drawings. These these are supposed to be pea pods, but they might as well look at, like chilies. Anyways, we've got the green pod and we've got the yellow pod. For the green pod, you've got 428. For the yellow, you have 152. So we need to figure out what the dominant and recessive trait is. Once again, our dominant trait will be the one with the higher number. That is because it has a higher probability, higher chance, and hence should be the dominant trait if the experiment was correct uh, correctly um, carried. So in this case, we have our green pod as our dominant uh, trait. So I'm just going to write green pod. And that leaves the yellow pod to be recessive. Once again, the ratio, how can we figure this out? Well, it is the dominant divided by the recessive. So 428 divided by 152. And you end up getting something like 2.82 to 1. 
perfect. That's all. Thanks for watching.